Well, hello there. Today we have a Mixig differential probe. This is a high voltage differential probe. And if you're not sure what a differential probe is, there's lots of videos out there, but it is basically for measuring voltages that are not referenced to earth ground. Uh, normal oscilloscope probes have an earth ground clip, and this would measure the difference between the tip here and earth. Compared to a multimeter, which has two leads and is not referenced to anything other than these two guys. So a multimeter is a differential probe, essentially. So uh, if we want to measure something like, um, well, if we wanted to measure uh, voltage across a weird piezo transducer, that's what I got this for. You'd use a differential probe. This is the Mixig MDP701. And uh, you can see it's, so this video is being made in October 17th of 24. So it was made not even a month ago. Uh, I got it from Salig. Thank you very much, Salig, for this. And they shipped it quite quickly, even though they said it wasn't in stock. The folks from Mixig got back to me on Twitter and said, yeah, it's in, we'll get it to you quickly and so forth. I don't know if that's serial number nine. I don't know, but it's 0009. So um, it was passed on 926. So it was made on 924. It was QA passed 926. Made where all the good stuff, well, actually where everything gets made now uh, by mixing. So um, yeah, here the, here's Salig's part number on it. They put a sticker on it. Pretty quality. I've been in here. This is not an unboxing. I've already been in here. Oops. Is that solder I see? Oh, I'm a little cat. What is an MOV? It's birthday. Okay. So in here we've got the um, business card certificate. Not real sure what that tells you, but delivery date serial number yeah look at that zero 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 nine four zeros and a nine serial number nine wow um the packing list probe main unit a type c cable the quick guide and some alligator clips it's actually set these two are set for those of you who'd like to read that, I don't know, I would struggle. I would struggle there too, but there's some good pictures. There we go. Look at that. Never mind. Got the English version. So from their SIG OFIT technology, the MDP, low noise floor, amplitude frequency. I mean, it's pretty cool. Here's some specifications. Let's take a look. And this is the 701 that we're looking at here. So we're talking 150 megahertz of bandwidth. Uh, can attenuate between 20x and 200x. I have the scope set right now to one mega ohm input and um, two 20x uh, attenuation. Plus or minus 2% accuracy. I don't think we're going to be able to test that today. Uh, up to 700 volts, but voltage to ground is 600 for cat one and 450 for cat two. Hmm. Um, look at that, less than 0.9 millivolts RMS. Not bad. And then if you add that um, five megahertz bandwidth limit on there, if you're not looking at fast signals, you go down to four tenths of a millivolt. Common mode rejection ratio is greater than 80 dB at DC and going up to minus 26 dB, uh, minus 80 to minus 26. So yeah, it could do some good measurements. Uh, 1.5 puff differential for the input impedance. So then we got some other stuff like the output voltage at three less than three volts. <laughs> Uh, two watts USB Type C. Of course, all modern scopes have a USB connector. 
uh, over range it does beep a bit and we'll see that in just a second and the, con the sizes and we'll just see that too all right um, it's two pieces it has the part that goes on the scope here with a button panel on it it truly does have a little membrane button panel on it. and then it's got a fixed cable that goes off to the signal box and they show you here there's a five megahertz mode led mode limit and a button to turn that on and off a zero button you short the probes together and zero it there is a uh, range selector with uh 20 and 200 x just like the um probe switch here i highly recommend people get these these are these are a good idea to have so they tell you to calibrate before use short circuit it and press the zero button and you'll hear some beeps uh warm it up for 10 minutes we're not going to do that today and then um led indicator flashes and beeps rapidly for over voltage warning we're not going to do that either and then some other stuff here about how to use it basically connect it to the scope set it up and touch what you're going to measure well anyway let's get to it the moment you've been waiting for this is where the big spiky thing will show up in the youtube uh in the youtube timeline so yeah uh i know it's not feel a vision but it's a sweet looking um enclosure real solid feels good uh these are attached as you'd imagine and um just a little heads up these are going to be the uh dmm lead type of connectors in here so you're not going to be plugging in your normal banana plug stuff now i happen to have a set of and i don't remember where these are i think these are pomonas i happen to have a set of these dudes yep Pomona. Pomona. And look, they're CE marked. And these dudes, well, are they dudes or are they dudettes? I don't know. But anyway, they plug in here and they give you, they're kind of like a gender changer. So now I can take some multimeter leads uh, like this and I can plug those right into the end. So I'm going to do that right away. Let's get the the redden and the blacken. All right, look at that. Ooh, yeah. Nice. All right, so now we can measure stuff with normal pokey things on like that instead of measuring them with other things that we're going to see in just a moment. This is the box that attaches to the oscilloscope, and you can see the button panel. And I don't know if you can tell from here, but it is definitely a... That's a that's almost certainly that's die cast. It's got some weight to it. Yeah, that's that's gonna be uh, zinc or aluminium, aluminium or something like that. There is almost certainly there a laser marked ID on there, and I think I can see a zero 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 nine. So yeah, I think that says something MDP seven O one, whatever this thing is. MDP 701 something 0009. So that looks like the model and serial encoded into a QR code. No, we're not going to de stickify that and take this thing apart. Uh, there's a USB C. Kudos to them. They didn't dork around with a micro USB connector. They went full modern. I mean, in, I don't know, probably 2023, almost 2024, it's about time that we don't see a USB micro on anything anymore so that's probably cool uh those should be phasing out like vacuum tubes pretty soon all the youngins will be saying dude it's got a usb micro connector on it that's got to be vintage so uh yeah it's got the bandwidth and the um voltage on it which is quite a nice little feature because you know who's going to go out and grab the instructions and the spec sheet every time so anyway uh, let's go down Let's go down to the underground layer, shall we? Uh, USB A to C cable. Uh, the scope still comes with an A, so that's probably right. The only thing that's weird is it's like 50 meters long. Do I need a big long cable? I don't know. I have short ones, so I'll use those. Uh, probably my favorite thing is uh, if you have kids, these are great to torture the kids. A little spot between your nose. So it's got some grabber here for um, grabbing onto the skin in here and puncturing it. And it also has some way too big alligator clips. 
So if you want to go into your circuit panel and measure stuff, I suppose you could have a fun time with that. These probably won't get used all that often. And quite honestly, I have a whole box of similar stuff already. Like I already have that stuff from, I think these are Pomona's also. I don't know. But I already have a whole box of grabbers of all sorts of kinds of things and an accessory kit and another box of those AliExpress silicone ones. And yeah, so I don't really need that stuff. So that's probably just going to go in this box. And that's great. Probing. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to go in there so much. Let's put this aside. Whoa. Mixig.com.cn. All right. Let's see what happens when we uh, plug it in. You know, it would have been cool if I would have thought I would have had a. Yeah, we'll probably have to do this another way. All right. So let's get the camera moved around and I'll be right back. All right. So we're back with the Sigilent. 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 S D S two one zero four X plus only it's been upgraded to 500 megahertz and two giggy samples per second. Thank you very much for the uh, hacking codes for that. I mean, who wouldn't, right? So here we go with this probe Adobe. Let's put it into input two. And if you look here, we're going to uh, find our USB cable. Oops, I almost forgot about that. Don't want to forget to power it. Plug it in there. Plug it in here. We get some lights on top. Let's get, let's get our camera angle back a little bit. There we go. Range 200. So it looks like it boots up at 200. So I'm going to switch it and you'll hear the beep. And I'm going to, uh, so remember the pod thing is remote. So let's put it right here. And it's connected to these wires, which are all connected to these two probes right here. Let's turn off uh, channel one. All right. So uh, got a pretty good zero signal there. So let's calibrate. First, let's zero it. They told us to put them together and press zero. The uh, 2200 zigzagged a little bit, and then it gave a good solid beep. And now if we were to uh, hook these up to the probe test function, now notice I already have the probe set to 20x there. And this is what the uh, mode is set to. If we hook the probe up here, we see a three volt peak, three volt, zero to three volt. And let's um, see what happens if we change the range. Well, that looks right. Okay. And then, uh, you know, we may as well do a little probe test here too with this. So let's see if we can probe check. Uh, I thought I did. Oh, it's set to 200. Good catch. So let's try it again. Uh, Cancel. Let's just see what we got here. User, we want this to be down. It bumped that way up. So let's push this up to. Uh, I don't know if there's a faster way to set this or not. Twenty two, twenty one, twenty. Pro check. Look at that. It's like Minority Report. Probe check past Mr. Bond. Okay. Look at that. All right. So we've got a nice square wave going on there. I don't have a whole lot of stuff here today to test that with. Uh, I suppose we could hook up to this power supply over here. It's a switch mode, buck boost power supply. Let's give it some voltage and see what it does. 
So let's up the voltage here. This thing's good for something like 65 volts, 60 volts maybe. So let's turn it on at 20 volts and let's keep raising it up. This is 40. And there's 62 voltas. I suppose we could measure that. Let's put some cursors out there. Whoops, we had it there. 61 volts. That's what we're that's what we're seeing here. 61.3. So 61 is what it's supposed to be putting out. I don't know. Might be different. But see, it's not zero referenced. It's differential, baby. Differential. So um, there you have it. The Mixig. Whatever it's called, 701. The MDP Mixig Differential Probe 701. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. The build quality is great. It seems to work. What more could you want? If you have any comments, if you have anything you want me to try, uh, I'm happy to do it. Leave the comments in the comment section. Please do subscribe and um, let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this and I'll keep going. Thanks for watching.